Um, that's the yeah, same you, as if, if I have a wood burning stove and a kid runs over and jumps in it, it's not the wood burning stove's company's fault. No, but you can't. Like, again, when you're talking, especially when you're talking children, controlling a fucking child is not the easiest thing in the fucking world to do. Well, then we got to, if we have to start eliminating everything from the market that it might potentially harm a child, that gets rid of, uh, oh yeah, everything in the fucking world. Well, then what a horrible thing that is. Why not? Let's get, then get rid of it. We don't need it. If it, it we don't need these de- deadly fucking chemicals. There's no that's, need. That's for- food. That's plastics. That's uh, uh, food vehicles. was never deadly until they started adding chemicals to it. Remember no, that. You can choke on food. We better get rid of that. There's a choking hazard attached to everything you put in your mouth. Yeah, but that's again. Well, then we got to get rid of it. That's your no, argument. We have to get rid of it because it might cause cancer. Well, we have to get rid of it because it might hurt a child. Well, no. everything <laughs> might hurt a child. Adding we have to get rid of everything. Ke- adding, Eric, come on, think about it now. Adding a chemical that is known to be like adding arsenic to a fucking food product should not be allowed. I fully agree. There's you shouldn't no add Roundup excuse- to a food product. Huh? I don't add Roundup to a food product. I absolutely agree. But, but if Roundup could be administered by a, wind, a gust of wind that could carry that out and affects and affect you, I, it's I, not I, safe to use. Lots of st- vehicles aren't safe to use. They kill more people than anything. We need to get rid of those. Hence the self-driving. That eliminates a lot of the issues. That's what they're trying to solve. Self-driving vehicles where you take the driver out of the control of the vehicle. That's one of the solutions that's being used. And that's why that can end up working. You will live. Drivers are the ones that cause the issues, not the cars, the drivers. You eliminate the use of the driver. You, you start saving more lives. But if you're adding a harmful, dead, deadly chemical. And that can be airborne sprayed, and it's meant to be airborne sprayed. It's meant to be used outside in the open air. Absolutely. I'm not saying it's right to use it. I don't think we should use it. So then, why you are you arguing the fight? Because I think we can't just start blanketly banning things that are bad for people. That would involve banning everything in the world, and it's stupid. It's not the company's fault these people used it. They made a choice to purchase it. They made a choice to use it. They made a choice not to protect themselves against the harms of it. That's not the company's fault. It is if the company doesn't admit that their chemical causes cancer. And they don't admit that. We know it does, though. They don't have to admit it. We know that they don't advertise it as that. It's not advertised. It's not. It doesn't say on the packaging does not say will cause cancer. It has Cigarettes the exact same possibility of right causing cancer as gasoline causes cancer. Every time you fill your vehicle with gasoline, you're exposing yourself to the chemicals. Do gas companies advertise that? Of course not. You, you, there's, there's, a per, there's a certain amount of just use your fucking head when it comes to these things. I don't see the need to have, again, there's... So then, if we got to go down the list of companies that we have to put may cause cancer on it, that's everything. Again, that's every company has to announce that. So then, now, now you're making my point. This is a bad thing. These things that we use on a day-to-day basis should not be causing cancer. Why are they allowed to have products in them that cause disease? Because without those products, those, without those chemicals, certain products don't exist. We have and to eliminate, so? then we have to eliminate oil. Oil is a known carcinogen. So we have to eliminate oil completely from everything. And that means we don't wear shoes with leather. We don't eat the foods we eat. We don't drive the cars we drive. That all causes cancer. Uh, the sun causes cancer. How do we eliminate the sun? How do we put sun a big block. warning label on the sun? Sunblock, which is what people who are sensitive to it. Well, then put on rubber gloves and a mask when you use your fucking Roundup. Isn't that the same as sunblock? Airborne spray. 
the sun is very airborne. It's the most airborne thing in the universe. Yeah, but you control that. Nobody can. You, you also you can't control walk your out and have the up. fucking sun get through your clothing. That's uh, that's on an individual basis for that. So somebody spraying Roundup, I could walk by. Somebody could be spraying Roundup, and I could walk by the cloud and not know that cloud is when walking through it. Well, yes, they should take. They should be. They should have to mitigate that. Put up a sign that says you're spraying. That makes sense. And then you got to figure out what's the distance that it's going to be airborne for. Can it travel for only a couple well, hundred feet? They can feet? figure that out. They, of course, they, they can, can figure that out. But will they? Well, then you get a fine if you don't. And I'm just reading. I'm just trying to read right here. Um, there is still a Harvard cancer. Uh, uh, the Harvard Chan School of Public Health says there is no evidence of a positive association between glyphosate and uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is what the uh, jurors agreed that there was. Uh, the Environmental Protection Agency says it's safe for people in accordance with label and directions. Um, it's a it's about 50 50 on on whether it does or doesn't and obviously it does but um i'm not seeing them denying it in anything i can find real quick and i'm not saying they aren't i'm just saying i can't see that just one of the very first things i opened up was a rep from the company denying it openly well, I, I can I see a lot of uh, people saying there's no evidence that it causes this particular type of cancer. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a risky thing to get under. Well, this is one of those things, you know. Like I just I don't, you know, again. This is my all. I mean, in my opinion, all this still revolves back. In order to supply the planet with everything they need, with the amount of people that are in it, you have to use all these chemicals that kills people. So, what's the solution? You go against the, the companies, or do you eliminate the people? Well, that's fine. Yeah, eliminate the people. That's fine. I'm good with that. I don't. It's not the company's fault. Um, but you got to remember, there is also a time when they, everybody thought ooh. asbestos was fucking healthy for you. You didn't need protective wear around it. You didn't need that sort of thing. Hang on one sec. Why don't you go look for them? It's a block from here. Where is it? It's one block on Gore. Gore and Hastings. Right next to the First United Church. Yes. Well, two doors down, there's a store in between them. It's a block away. I'll take you there when I'm done here. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Finds me every night. That's that same chick? Yeah. That's um, funny. Uh, I, I just don't understand. Why. Someone needs to go spray some Roundup on her. Um <laughs> Oh, that's great. Oh. oh, ridiculous. That just really uh, broke the momentum of the... Uh, sorry about that, everybody, and, and especially to you, Gord. I didn't mean to bring... <laughs> this just came out of nowhere. But, uh, ridiculous. People are... See, that, those, those are some people we can eliminate, but uh, it's not the company's fault. You make a choice to use what you use. And, uh, yeah, well, should we be calling our neighbors out? Yeah, go tell your neighbor he's an idiot for using Roundup. Absolutely. Start policing each other a little more. Stop making it the company's fault. It's not the company's fault. Use your freaking heads once in a while. We're still, we're, we're still adult humans, right? We still know how to make a decision. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I don't see the point of if we if in order to sustain society, we have to use chemicals like this in products. Well, we don't. That's that's false. 
No, this has we nothing don't. to do with sustain. This has nothing to do with sustaining the play. It's it's got to do with having a pretty lawn. Well, keep in mind, you open the fucking door to this asshole. We need to get, we need to eliminate <laughs> the thought the process that having a pretty else. lawn is something that's important. That's rhetorical. No, and for the record, it's more detrimental to society anyways because they're killing off bees and they're killing off other things. Exactly. It shouldn't, it, but that should be, and if you choose to do that, that's your choice. Um, again, it, you're making the choice. You're making the, uh, it's not the company's fault that you're a dick. They shouldn't have to pay $2 billion because you're a moron. That's not, I don't think it's their fault that you're stupid. I'm saying the proverbial you, not you directly, Gord. I hope you know. Yeah, because I don't use Roundup. It's fine. I understood. <laughs> uh, I think it's a terrible thing. I don't use it either. I, I don't think anyone should use it. It's evil. But you can't just ban evil. It's not... It's, it's just not correct. So what is... Just let me ask you that. I mean, because, again, you open the door vehicles and driving should we not look at self-driving vehicles and look well, at advanced absolutely we should look at that way vehicles, but again it should be an option but it can't something sure, when it comes when it comes into self-driving vehicles it's either everybody's in play or the or the system doesn't work well and it'll never happen well it would because it'd be up to the manufacturers to fucking do it if every well, if yeah, every manufacturer is forced to be able to fucking say nope, every vehicle is a self driving vehicle, it doesn't take uh, very long. If you want to drive your car, you go to a racetrack. I don't know if they could, I don't know if you get them all on board or not. Certainly not in our lifetime. It would no. be a great thing if you did. Yeah, but again, again, it's a thing where the people have to make the choice. The people have to tell the companies what to do. It's still a supply and demand economy, just like it always is. They don't force us to do anything. Bullshit. They, go they find, only yourself, what we go find yourself a vehicle. Go and find yourself any vehicle that doesn't have, that's not full of computer systems in it. Well, you no, can't. because I, I fully 100% practice what I preach. I do not own a vehicle. Never have, I, I don't want to. I make that choice. That's a choice yeah. I make. I think they're evil, stupid machines. I want nothing to do with giving them government the amount of money they get off of them. I think it's retarded. We bitch about taxes constantly, but we don't we go out and pay that much for gas and insurance every day. No, you don't drive them, and they will get instantly better. I promise you. Make the choice not to do something, and you'll see it change overnight. We, de- we, we make these choices because we keep buying the stupid shit that they put in front of us. Stop buying it. Stop buying it, they'll stop making it. Roundup's still the number one herbicide sold around the world. Is that their problem? No, they put it on the shelves. People go and buy it. Don't buy it, and it won't be on the shelves anymore. It's easy. But it's well, not the company's fault. I don't know. I'm on the fence still. You make a valid point. You, are, you, you make some very valid points, and you are correct. Well, but, you should get off the fence, because it's probably got Roundup on it. <laughs> but I'm wearing clothing, so I'm protected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just don't let your kids choke on your clothes, and you'll be fine. Keep your yeah, keep your kids off your your clothes, you'll be fine. No, oh, what was the other one? I don't even remember now. Yeah, what was the other one? Hang on, let me double check. So the lady beat somebody to death. Oh yeah, fuck! Did you have you seen the video yet? No, I haven't seen this. What, I don't even know this. I didn't hear anything about this today. I was too busy working to pay attention. Oh, this is insane. I believe it was in Las Vegas. Um, a woman gets up on, onto a fucking bus, like a public bus, and you can see by the video. You can't hear anything that's being said, but you can see in the video, this chick is a fucking twat. Like She is just straight up being a fucking cunt about the whole thing. She's got attitude about her, and she comes in, she gives somebody attitude about something, this fucking senior citizen's trying to get by her, because, and he's got a walker, and he's trying to get by her, and this bitch is literally just being a fucking bitch. She's getting mouthy with him. He turns to her and says, why don't you just be nice? As he inches his way towards the fucking door, she gets behind him, and she fucking pushes him out the door. 
The guy goes flying forward, lands headfirst on the ground, and dies from his injuries. 